zombie virus, zombie epidemic. So it is uh, very important that we get this guy, but it's not going to be easy because A, these guys they come out only at night, and as you probably know, the night time is the most dangerous part of the dying died experience. And uh, B, they are unlike any other of the night zombies because they are as fast as them, as agile as them, uh, but when they see you, they run. They see, they see humans as dangerous. So when they see humans, they see the player, they try to escape. So we have to sneak up on that guy. So that will make things even more difficult for us. All right, well, I'm ready to dive in. Should we take a look here? Yeah, of course, let's do this. All right, so this is Dying Light. This is coming January 27th to PS4. Open world, a lot of parkour influence, yes, exactly. a lot of good and movement. Four player co op, uh, be the zombie mode, which allows you to play as a zombie and invade other people's games. So lots of lots of cool things in one game. Very cool. So uh, we should have a video going here any yes. second now. And when we do, then we'll check it out. But tell me about the inspiration behind you know, the style of game that you're going for. It's a different type of zombie game. Uh, well, yes, first of all, oh, I think we're good to go now. Oh, I here think we we're go. deep in gameplay right now. Uh, so what we are doing right now, we are trying to go to a safe zone and uh, uh, that's a very important thing because we don't want to cover huge distances uh, at night. So we need to find a safe zone which, which we can secure and... There we um, go. Okay, there we go. Uh, which we can secure and uh, we can sleep till the night in that safe zone. As you can see when you're up on the roofs and you have nowhere to go, you can still go down on the street level using uh, trash piles and things like that. And you don't have to stop moving in Dying Light because in Dying Light, uh, we have a system which is called the Natural Movement System, and it allows you to traverse the environment with great ease, with almost, like, effortlessly. This is looking good, and I want to just make a shout-out to Twitch. If you're in chat, drop some questions in there. We'll field them here with tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Do that, guys. And uh, what we did right now, we threw a decoy over there to, to, uh, to attract those zombies to that location. Uh, we can attack them, but of course it is pointless uh, because they will turn back on us then. So let's just try to skip past them. When you see a group of zombies like that in Dying Light, you don't want to fight with them. But when you see just one guy, you can try to attack him, especially when you have the vertical advantage. So yeah, like, oh. like this. And there are also a couple of other cool things that you can do. For example, you can like try to stun that lady and uh, <laughs> now twist her neck. I know how it sounds, but it is a zombie game after all. After all. So, uh, and also you can use like oh. uh, a couple of interactive things, interactive objects in the environments. Uh, thing like, uh, spi things like spikes uh, or zip lines. Now we got a question here from Twitch chat. Uh, you guys, obviously, Techland, known for Dead Island. Yes, of this course. This is quite a departure from that. What kind of inspired that? Well, I wouldn't say it really is a departure because it, it has zombies and it has melee weapons. It is a melee-based weapon game, but there's so much more stuff in Dying Light that it's kind of hard to compare this to. This is way more complex game. Uh, this is a game where to each situation, each problem that you face, you have a couple of solutions. You don't have to hack and slash through enemies. You can always try to think of something else. So it really is a very different game, and I think the most important aspect of it is the natural movement system, like the system that allows you to do to, to traverse uh, through the game world with, with like with, like a parkour specialist would. Here's another good question: uh, How long does uh, you know the game has sort of like real time yes, daylight? So yes. how long is a day? In, uh, uh, so uh, the whole uh, cycle takes about 45 minutes, and I think night takes about 20 minutes of that 15 minutes. So uh, it is split like that, like uh, one third and two thirds. Uh, what we have right now, we can use our survivor sense to scan the environment to see things that are interactive. So we can try to see what's inside the fridge. There's a tin can, we can get it and use it for crafting <laughs> weapons and other cool stuff and metal parts as well. Uh, but there's, I think there's a guy spitting on us through the window, so let's go to the safe house directly. Yeah. No, the game has an extensive uh, crafting system too. Uh, crafting, yes. So you can craft all of, all of the weapons that you see. There are more than a hundred weapons, melee weapons, base melee weapons in the game, but you can craft all of them. So when you count all of the combinations, it gives you like more than a thousand different weapons that you can use in the game. And you craft not only weapons, but also gadgets, things like throne knives, shurikens, uh, decoys, and other stuff as well. Shurikens, I like the sound of yeah, that. Yeah, that's a good thing. Like, I'm getting a lot of questions, and I know you're on a roll, but a lot of questions about co-op. People are very okay. intrigued by the co-op. Yeah, and it is a very important thing, because uh, uh, Dying Light supports four-player co-op, and what's cool about it is that you can play the whole game in four-player co-op. Wow. Uh, it's not like there's a set of missions for co-op or something like that. You can play the whole game as long as you finish the tutorial. You can play the whole game from start to finish in co-op. 
So tell me where we're at here. Yeah, we're so we just secured the safe zone and now we can use the bed to sleep till the night. And as you can see, the night has fallen. It is about uh, one hour later. So let's just go outside and see what's changed in the game world. And that's a very important thing because in Dying Light, the gameplay changes completely when the night falls. Uh, as you can see, of course, it is dark, so it, uh, yeah, yeah, that works. If we turn on the flashlight, that will make the traversing, envi traversing environment easier. And let's see if there are enemy, en en enemies around. Yeah, like There is one guy, but we don't have to worry about him. So let, now, now let's just check where the bolters are. And they are marked on the, mini on the map with those skull icons. So let's just mark one of the locations, and let's just try to go there. That's a, it looked like a big map to me. How well, big is. is this game? Well, the, the game is huge. It is really it is a nightmare to make a game like this because <laughs> you have to account for everything. But the, I think if you want to see everything in the game, you will have to play it at least 50 hours. So it really is a huge, huge game. And uh, okay, we are following uh, our our like waypoint objective. We are using the survivor sense to scan if there are any uh, night zombies around. And as you can see, there is a volatile. That's a very that that's like the ultimate night predator. Uh, so we have to be extra careful around around that guy. We don't want him to catch us. Very cool. So it's got a little bit of a stealth element when yes, you're uh, playing at night. Well, at night you have to use the stealth element because if you face them directly, you're just basically gone in a, in a, in a second. So as you can see, he's, he is over there. We can jump on the wagon right here. And we can try to create a little diversion that will make the volatiles kind of confused where you are. This is looking great. So we can hit a weapon on a, on a, on a wall to make some noise, and they will go to that spot. So we can, now we can shoot. Oh, oh. we got caught by a, by a regular person. guy. So I think the volatiles show us. Yeah, they show us, so now we have to run. Basically, now it's just run, boy, run type of thing. You are being chased, and you don't want to face those guys directly. So um, let's see. Yeah, that they are chasing us. So, uh, wow. That's a scary, scary sight. You don't want to see that. This uh, is looking good, I got to say. Just. <laughs> Seriously, this looks great. Yeah, it totally you. sparking thank my interest. Yeah, in this it is game. a Chrome Engine 6, our own in-house engine, and it really does wonders. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, nice X-ray effect. That means that you broke that. That, as you can see, this guy is transforming, so we must not let him transform because when he transforms into his night form, he's way more dangerous, and he will be chasing us as well. And we used some, we used some uh, zombies inside for as a camouflage. So now we have like a couple of seconds. Uh, of relative safety, so now we can try to change weapon and see where are we, where we heading next. So, so one question I got that I thought was a great question here: What's your favorite weapon that you've crafted in uh, Dying Light so well, far? Well, there are lots of them, but I, I really like the classics. So I'd say maybe it is an electric machete. I just like that you can cut a zombie head off with it and electrocute them at the same time. So that's a cool thing. So I really like that one, like a classic electric machete zombie weapon. Okay, so quiet now. Uh, I think we are quite safe. No one sees us, so now we can try to be sneaky about our our objective, our, our mission. Let's just go there. Yeah, we can turn off the flashlight to uh, make it make it harder for zombie to, zombies to see us. There are some over there, but they are not in a danger for us right now. Yeah, we can try to zip past them. Nice. So is there a character progression or a skill tree or anything like that? Yes, of course, there's a whole RPG element to the game. There are three skill trees that you can fill with skills. Uh, in total, there are 73 skills in the game. And what's important is that uh, whatever you do in Dying Light, you get experience points for that. So each swing of a weapon, each jump, each climb gives you experience points that allow you to level up either agility, power, or survival run. Uh, I think we, we've been spotted again, so now we have to run again. To, to, but now we can use a different thing to lose the pursuit. We can jump into the water and use a shortcut like that to break the line of sight and, and, and be safe again. This is cool. I mean, this game is a very porous environment. Yes. yes you exactly. go up, you go through, you yes. go under. Well, I think, <laughs> honestly, maybe that's, that, 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 that sounds like uh, too much of a statement, but I really think that Dying Light has a chance, has a, has a shot at changing the first-person games in general. I think when people experience what we have here, they will, they will looking for that kind of freedom in other FPS games as well.
Yeah, it, it reminds me a little bit, I don't want to make a direct comparison, but I was a big fan of Dishonored and uh -huh. how maneuverable as a character yes, of you course. are yes. that. So, 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 Yeah, that's, that's a similar thing that we're trying to achieve, but uh, if, uh, it is a, we, uh, something happened. What happened, guys? Uh, are we good? Yeah, problems like that happen all the time. I think that's it. No, I think something we froze, got like on the other end of the, of the connection. <laughs> Yeah, so we cut. So maybe we'll just answer some questions. And yeah, we got a lot we'll of good questions to coming up in with here. That. I, one question that came up that I was thinking as well: Is there a gunplay in the game? Will you be able to shoot? Uh, yeah, of course. So the game is mostly melee based. So uh, the the one hundred more than one hundred weapons I mentioned, these are melee based weapons, melee weapons. But uh, we also have firearms, and uh, the ammunition is not so. Uh, we're starting from where well, we are, we're back at the start. So. Um, you see, a thought occurred to me. Okay, let's just a follow long that. Shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where so there I are guns in the game there. Yes, so the, so yes, sorry for that. Yes, so there are guns in the game, uh, pistols, rifles, shotguns, uh, and the ammunition is not as scarce as so it was in the island, so you will be able to, uh, to use uh, the, these firearms, these guns more frequently now. Here's a good question. Whenever you open it up to co-op, Okay. You, you, you do open the opportunity for griefers to come in. Is there a, <clears throat> are there ways to protect against that? Uh, well, of course, you can choose with whom you want to play. So you can play only with friends. Or you can play only with um, uh, with uh, trusted people. And uh, the same goes for the be the zombie mode, which that could be a mode that has the biggest potential of of, of inviting griefers. But uh, because that's the mode where you play as a zombie and invade other people's games. So if you don't want to experience that, though, I I, I really encourage people to do that, uh, you can turn that option off as well. So if you don't want to play with people who might be griefers, you can just turn them off, cut them off completely. Great, so the power is in your hands as the player. Yes, exactly. exactly. So it looks exactly. like we're, we're recovered here, we're back. <laughs> yes, so uh, now is the water beat. We can like uh, jump up again. So that was the part where, where, where I was saying that we have a shot at, like, ch at changing the first person games in general. So I think I, I would like to repeat that because it's really, it really is my strong personal belief. As you can see, there are some more volatiles. What is happening? We, we like check this. Oh, looks like a, f a few yeah, technical yeah. difficulties there. So let's take it to chat. Yeah, let's take it to chat here. Okay. Let's answer a few more questions. I got a lot of them coming in.